Alright, so 12 days following the breakout at Razcrow, the New Year's Eve offensive would continue throughout uh, January 1st until the offensive was renamed into the Winter Offensive on or by day 2 on January 2nd, 1907. The revolutionaries who were completely shocked by the sudden arrival of the United States and the sudden offense uh, would, soon or would soon find themselves being driven back hard to the point uh, that most players around southern Russia would end up falling back under imperial control. However, though the United States was uh, their military, uh, they mainly acted as a reserve unit as most of the fighting was done by the Russians at the time of the revolution in 1905 uh, and were only sent out to attack specific spots throughout Russia that were declared either too strong for the Russian Empire uh, to the point that the U.S. armored units would have to get involved or was deemed simply tough to bring down on their own. Request aid from the Americans in order to conquer. One of these main assists would be done by uh, the United States within the forest of Regenkov, uh, where revolutionary artillery was uh, consistently hammering the Russian imperial advance and was deemed too strong for the Russian forces to attack head on. Uh, allowing the United States to move in the, in order to attack and destroy the position alongside uh, Russian Imperial forces 12 days after Razgrad. That's right, baby, we are back in uh, the Century War mod. It also seems like the first episode, so we're going to continue doing this. Let's get into this here. And this should be super fun here. So we have the Revolutionaries, uh, which is basically the, just the Russian Revolution here. And they are revolting against uh the uh imperial russians here now, this is not the russian revolution that i thought it was i thought this might be the one near world war one but i don't know why i thought it was that because this is in 1907 i guess there could have been another russian revolution uh in 1905 but i I'm uh, not quite sure which one it might be. Uh, ooh, okay. This is a lot of infantry here. This is about to be interesting here, but we're just going to get right into this here. With tons of guys mowing, uh, not only mowing us down, but also just ripping into the enemy. I'm going to turn this down a bit here, because it is a little bit loud. Alright, I am going to let a lot of the enemy unit, or of our units here just push forward without my control. But I am going to take control over some of them. Because I mean, we're still gonna, we are still going to need control over some of them. So we're going to start moving forward with the boys. So we're going to go with the boys. Alright, here we go. You guys need to get forward too. Alright, you guys need to get a little bit of a flank going. Who even are these guys? These are the Soviet, or not Soviets, but the uh, Imperial uh, Russians here that are at our uh, aid. We're eight of them, I guess. Yeah. Alright, keep moving boys, keep going. We need to keep moving forward, so... Yeah, no. Don't be a bunch of scaredy cats and hide in the back. Alright, keep her going. Alright, this is looking... Not terribly... Hard yet? I mean, obviously we still have critical mass right now, so we still have our most number of infantry, most number of a lot of things. Uh, but once that artillery starts ripping into us here, that is going to be one of the hardest. Or it's going to be starts getting real difficult once that artillery starts hammering into us. Here. That's why they need to telephone us in the first place because of the artillery that the revolutionaries have at their disposal. And the only reason why they're kind of calling upon the United States in this situation is apparently that, I mean, even though we have a massive military here to help, they really just want to focus on them crushing their revolutions, I guess. You know. This is just an absolute wipe, though. Like, look, we've already started shredding into those guys in the rear. And our little squad of revolutions. Continue moving forward. There we go. Just said that we got that objective, even though we didn't. But I'll take it. I don't mind. So that was the second line that we crushed a little while ago, and so now it's telling us to take this camp that we're slowly working our way towards. 
this year. That artillery has not done practically anything. Which I think is really weird. That, it's definitely aiming at us. Like, you can see that one's definitely looking at us here. Get some grenades going out, boys. These are obviously going to be pretty primitive grenades, if I had to guess. Probably not, like, really advanced or anything like that. Considering this is 1907. Uh, so, so definitely some more primitive versions of uh, grenades, like the M1 that we would end up using. There we go. Well, we did manage to take that camp there. That was not terribly hard. I'm not sure how many cat. Oh, I definitely took a lot of casualties though. Interestingly enough, even though it didn't feel terribly hard, like we definitely took a fair many casualties here. So we're just gonna start clumping up at, at that area there. We have the stuff that let the AI still control pushing forward as well. Oh, was that it? Wow. We have silenced cam. Vic Torkov. Now the Russians will be able to continue with the winter offensive. It, uh, if things keep up at this rate, it could result in a revolution that's being thrown completely out of southern Russia. However, we will have to wait uh, and see if, as time progresses. I feel I get a feeling that we're going to be called again as revolutions are proving to be tough uh, defense warfighters, especially against the Russian Empire. Uh, so we we'll prepare next time. Alright, well, we killed like 144 men, 4 vehicles, we lost 86. That was not a very long mission. These missions are not terribly long. Yes, uh, like, the last one was only 15 minutes. This one was probably about 10 here. Um, so, I, I am I am going to end it here, though. If you guys want to see me play um, the next mission, which is the beginning of the USA campaign. This is just a prologue into the USA campaign. So if you just want me to play the USA campaign, make sure to leave a like. That is the end of the prologue here. Uh, this is a really cool mod, and this mod is just pretty uh, dope. Make sure you guys check it out. If you guys haven't already. Um, and yeah, I'll catch y'all in the next episode. Puppies!